Welcome back to another reading and correcting of a wasteful death with me, Kindar, the Tiger Rights, and Ty, the Tiger Supervisor. If you want to listen to these live, it's every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time on Twitch. Links are in the notes. And today we are doing Chapter 12. Remember's pad beeped and he reached for it without taking his head off the pillow. Morning. Did I beat the clock? Renox asked excitedly. Or rolled to the other side as he and he looked. And and looked to the other side and as he looked, the time rolled over. There was a click and an advertisement for synthetic synthetic meat ended. Yep, you woke your uncle before his clock again. The radio the traffic report started. Yes! Lion chuckled. Give my love to your dad, okay? I will. Uh, his nephew disconnected. Or turned the radio off as the announcer mentioned Heartclaw Road. Beyond put in the pad on the table, the earpiece next to it, put it in, made sure it was secured, and got up. He started on his morning stretching exercise and was halfway through them when the earpiece beeped. Answer. Good morning, Uncle Trembor. A very young female greeted him. Good morning, Isa. He continued with his exercises as he spoke. Has Neri called you yet? No, your brother hasn't. Should I expect him to call? Uh huh. You have to. Have you brushed your teeth yet? Not yet. I'm doing my stretches. You better brush them real good. Otherwise, you'll have to go to the dentist. Or couldn't help but smile. I will. Good. Have a good day. You have a good day, too. He finished his stretches without anyone else calling, and he took his shower, holding his ear, ears back to keep the water out of them. As he lathered up, he was lathered, lathered up when the earpiece beeped again. Answer. Reduced the spray to a trickle so he could hear his nephew. Except whichever one it was didn't, immedi didn't immediately speak. Hi, uncle. He had no problem placing the voice. Morning, Aralex. Nephew sighed. You brush your teeth yet? Remember, wasn't able to keep from laughing. No. Isa called you, didn't she? Yeah. Was silent for a moment. Uncle, I... Something happened to me during the night? Remember, smile disappeared. Are oh, you all right? What happened? Don't know. As if you sounded like you might cry. Relax. Talk to me. Whatever it is. Sorry. I know I shouldn't cry. I'm an adult now. Nothing wrong with crying. Relax. Just tell me what happened. As if you stiffen one, they'll stiffen one, stiff, sniffed once, then exhale. I woke up in the middle of the night, was feeling strange, and I felt my, I felt tingly in my, uh, you know, down there, the groin. Yes. When I touched there to see if I turned on, if I turned on something, it was hard and wet. I was scared. I thought it was blood that I cut myself, but I sniffed it. It wasn't blood. Now it's soaked into the sheet. Or relaxed. Grateful it wasn't anything major. Although, at 15, Aralex was a little young for his body to be getting ready for his heat. The academy would start teaching him what to expect in the next year, since most feline experience their first heat in or 18. Oh, I'm still here. What you experience is normal. It is? Yes, it's your body preparing itself for when you experience your first heat. Relax, was silent for a moment. To think I, I wet the sheet. Huh. Huh. Oh, that is interesting. I... I think this is a mistake. I'm gonna have to double check it. I believe his mom is dead. Wow. Um, wow, indeed. I mean, I I will have to go back to the dinner scene, Sunday the the, the family dinner scene. Because that's the one that's going to matter. Because in this world, people die. It is normal. So if if it's not established there that she died, I can just have it happen between books. Because... Hmm. 
Not only that, I am. All right, uh, I said, okay, I'm going to think I wet the sheet. She's going to think I'm still a baby. She won't think that. She'll understand. Dad? Yes, he'll understand. He went through the same thing when he was younger. Did? Yep. Did you? I did. Every male does. Erelix was silent again. Do females go through it too? That I have no idea. You'd have to ask your mom. No. Smile. All right. So there's nothing wrong with me. No, there isn't. You're simply growing up. Oh, okay. Somehow, Alex made those two words sound like this, like disappointment. The contrast to his reaction to, to being considered an adult at the di dinner table. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I will. He did sound more confident. All right. Have a good day. Herbor ended the call and considered that Erelix was the oldest of his nephew. Would they all come to him when they reached that point? That was what he got for being the, f the only unmaiden male he they knew. Or maybe it was because they knew he wouldn't divulge their secret to their parents. He chuckled. It was the price to pay for being the family confidant. Brought the water spray to full force and rinsed off. After that, grabbed his... After that, grabbed his brush and turned the blower on. Brushed his mane until it, it air dried, as it air dried until it was fluffed up the way he liked. He gave the rest of his body a quick brushing, but his fur was short enough it didn't need much and was dry by the time his mane was done. He examined his teeth in the mirror. His us constant, constant reminder aside, he took great care of them. The brush was almost, almost in his mouth when the earpiece beat. And sir, Good morning, Eric said. You brush your teeth, he asked with oblivion, ob ob obvious reluctance. Or smile. smiled. You can tell your sister I'm, about to, I'm just about to do that. I'm sorry. I didn't want to bother you. I know. You wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have asked if she wasn't pestering you. That's what sisters do. Your mom used to do the same with me. Really? She was like Isa? No, she didn't make me call our favorite uncle. She forced me to have my action figures go on date with hers. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? That's totally gross. But I came out okay. You'll be fine too. Oh, okay. I'm going to have breakfast now. All right, you do that and have a good day. You too. I called this kid. He was able to finish his grooming and dressing and prepared for preparing his breakfast without any interrupt. He didn't have the meat and was finishing a glass of blood when his pad beeped swallowed and quickly answered you answered good morning dara how are you doing good i made my own breakfast i i made my own breakfast myself i am leaving it like that because she's four years why i'm sure your dad was impressed he was Trevor wondered how much of a mess betil had to clean up did you call me to tell me about your trip to the museum no that was the other day you didn't answer that day i know i'm sorry Today I'm singing. Really? Uh huh. Miss Whitehorn is going to teach us all a song. Can I call you to so you can hear it? No, oh, I'm sorry. You know the rules. I don't take family calls while I'm working. Oh, but I want you to hear me sing. Can you have your instructor record it for me? Don't know. Oh, ask her to do it. And I'll call you tonight and you can have me listen to it then. Okay. Bye. Finished washing the dishes. You finished eating washed the dishes, and then his pad beeped. But this time it was a text message from Marlott. Remember to back up your pad. You don't want to lose anything. Remember rolled his eyes. Ha ha, very funny. Be ready in a few minutes. He, instru he then instructed the pad to connect to the system and initiate a backup. How would it explain how to program it to do... Program it... Uh, how to program... How to set up a program to do it automatically, and ever so often, when it was over, he claimed he was going to set that up for him. Somehow they always ended up doing something else instead. When the pad indicated it was done, he disconnected it from the system and left the apartment without bothering to shut down his computer. There was something else Marlowe kept trying to get him to do. 
Anyone could infiltrate his system and do all kind of damage while he was on, while it was on. Report didn't. It wasn't like he kept anything important on it. It was just his home system. He had, it had a few games, his favorite vids, his accounting, nothing important. On the elevator ride down, he set his pad to automatically transfer the calls from his family to his buffer. When he exited, Marlot was waited for him out, waiting for him outside. This concludes chapter 12 of A Wasteful Death. If you are enjoying this, please leave a like. If you want to know when the next one's going to be uh, posted, subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to read the book as well as the others in the series, they are available on all major e-retailer. If you want to support me, that is on my Patreon, where you can also get access to just about everything I've written. And if you want to listen to me do the, listen to me do these live, it's every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Links are in the notes, and with that, I shall wish you a good day.